70% of my wardrobe is black. By the way, I forgot to show you my nail. You know, we short girls, so we have to help ourselves. Like, let's. Jason, I don't want to give spoilers. I, like, the more you read, the less you understand. Hi, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. <laughs> So today um, you're going to be spending the day with me. I have a couple of things planned out. I need to first go make my hair, make my nails, do a little shopping, and then I have um, two clothing items I got. One from ASOS, one from River Island. We're going to be trying that out later. And then also, I think I'm going to just share a bit on the books that I have read so far in this month because there's a lot to unpack. Okay, I'm about to head out now. I just want to change the stuff. What I'm wearing, so it's like uh, I'm wearing joggers. <laughs> and this top i think i'll prefer to my white um crop top so i'm going to change this to the white crop top and then we're gonna head out okay i'll treat up the day ready to go got my drink <laughs> and we'll be <laughs> I just got home. 
I'm exhausted. Um, actually, kind of, I won't say I forgot. I just said I'll eat later, I'll eat later. I've not eaten anything all day, so my head is banging, like literally banging. But content has to content, and we have to finish this content. So, <clears throat> oh, by the way, I just want to snack on this crunchy oats bar. It's like one of my all time favorite snacks. Also, this is the hair. You can see I'm very tidy back. I don't like stress. I'm sure I'll also pack it up before the end of today. Let me show you what the hair looks like from the back. So, that's it. There's curls at the tip. Usually, I twist when I make this hair, it's usually twisted, but I decided to make it into like braids this time around. Unboxing, I'll be what they call it opening of package. I ordered there's this trouser, there's this trouser that I ordered from River Island, so I'm just going to open it and try it on. And then I ordered a pair of shoes from ASOS. I've actually opened this one, I can't even lie, I've opened it, but we'll pretend I've not opened it. Um, I have like a work function sometime next week and i just realized that like, i don't have like formal shoes like that has a little bit of heel you know we short girls we have to help ourselves so i decided to get um a shoe with heel like comfortable heel that i could wear so this is the shoe ah god what's happening so this is the shoe this is the shoe um i'm gonna try it on and show you it fits perfectly and i went this one is wide feet because i have fat legs right i have fat feet so it fits perfectly because it's wide feet like it's really nice so i'll try it on in a minute i've not opened it we don't have to pretend so <laughs> let's open it i don't know if it's get if it's old age or just the fact that i'm getting older but i honestly don't like wearing trousers that cling to my skin i can't even recall the last time i wore a pair of jeans i want my trousers to be loose or loose fitting if that makes sense i don't like anything that just clenches to my or cleaves to my skin like this like it irritates me at this point so i'm kind of like investing in loose trousers this one that i bought or i ordered is also a loose trouser so let's jesse mm -hmm. about give me scissors please this thing wants to tear my hand thank you and yeah of course i got in the color black i think 70 percent of my wardrobe is black i don't know and i keep buying more black things <laughs> so oh this is good this looks good i'm going to try it on um and i got a size 12 now that i've lost weight i hope it fits because i've kind of gone down to a size 10 i'm in between size 10 size 12 so i really hope that this clenches my waist perfectly okay you guys so i just tried it on it's big it's big um first of all they don't really consider short people or maybe i should have ordered the one that said petite i think i should have looked for petite right so this is too long obviously it's loose like even if i button it it's loose i think i should have gone maybe for a size 10 i think a size 10 that would be better fitting oh but this is making me angry because i like the trouser hmm. it's two buttons but i'm not doing it too because nah this is loose i'm literally lost in this trouser nah it has to go back <laughs> it has to go back all right so you guys we're gonna test this um i've already tested it before i'm not gonna pretend but i really like the way it fits so uh ow ow, ow. i don't want to unbuckle it uh -huh. look at that you guys would you look at that are you showing the side can come closer look at that like the fit is impeccable let me stand up i love it and the, the heel is very comfy so it's not going to stress me when i go out on my formal occasions so yeah this is really nice love it love it love it love it <laughs> please push you with let me eat some more snacks some more things because i'm craving content all right guys so it's time for books okay so these are the two books that i have read in the month of september and there's a lot to unpack here so the very first book is yinka where's your husband by lizzie daminola blackburn now this book absolutely loved it it's a very funny book to read the main things that this book focuses on is like societal pressure to get married um female friendships and then dating in the modern world and also a little bit about colorism um yeah i'll say colorism so the main character in this book i don't want to give spoilers i don't know how to do a book review and not give spoilers but i'll try so the main character in this book is yinka and she really wants to get married she's about 30 and she's like desperate to get married and also the pressure that her 
family is putting on her to find the husband is a lot and also her younger sister is married you know she's pregnant her friends are in like awesome relationships and it just felt like it was just her and it was like nobody wanted her the story like is very interesting i think i read it in a couple days one thing i like about the book is that there were parts that i read and then i laughed there were parts that i read I actually felt sad for her and i wanted to cry it's just a really cool book um to keep you company so if you're looking for something that is light i'll call it is light hearted or how they call it light hearted like it's easy to read so i, I share the books i read every month on instagram so if you're not following me on instagram follow me when i posted this book on instagram a lot of people were like please tell us how many pages it is so it's about 300 and i think 93 yeah 382 pages it's actually a thick book but the thing with this book is that the fonts are really big and it's interesting so you don't even realize that it's a lot absolutely 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 love this book so let's go to the second one that i just finished reading the second book that i just finished reading is stay with me by ayobami adebayo this book i can say a lot about this book and the reason is it it took me through an emotional roller coaster you guys this book oh my god it's it highlights the challenges that women go through with infertility and also like basically not having a child that's just the main theme in this book like not having a child and having to navigate that in marriage and also this um, book is set in 1985 nigeria so not like present day nigeria so it was really interesting there were some things that i read in this book i was like god i thank you that we're in the jet age so the main character in this book is yeji day and there are so many deceit and lies that she was told that a simple google search would have solved all her problems but because this book is set in 1985 like nigeria at that time we're not in the jet age of information so she did not have access to the internet obviously and her husband was able to lie to her like the biggest lie you can imagine and she took it because obviously she was ignorant there was no way for her to access information and and people also did not freely talk about like what it was that her husband liked to her about and then also it's like every single chapter there is drama i think the thing that kept me glued to this book is that every chapter there is drama and when you're reading it's like the more you read the less you understand because of that when i finish reading one chapter i'm going on to the next one to try and understand what i read in the previous chapter and that's how this book kept me in a loophole okay because every chapter i read i want to read the next one because usually when something happens in this chapter is the next chapter that will actually explain something that happened in short there was this part where um i finally discovered something in the book and it happened like earlier on in the book it was later towards the end that it actually made sense to me so there's a lot of the more you read the less you understand and even the way the author writes in this book is very interesting like i like the approach the storytelling switches from the main character which is yeji day and her husband so telling the story from both of their perspectives is really 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 interesting so it highlights like i said it highlights um marital issues um infertility deceit lies and drama it is an absolutely interesting book to read another thing i want to say here is the book actually annoyed me a lot of times because there were so many things in this book that i could not understand so let me just give you a spoiler here so the lady at some point had to breastfeed a goat and that actually took me out and this happened earlier on in the book at that point i was like you know what this is so cringy i'm like i'm going to stop reading i, I was literally like I was done i was like i'm done i can't keep reading this thing because it makes me i don't know it just makes me cringe but i'm so glad i i kept through with it a lot of people encouraged me that i should try and read it to the end because they they've read it and they feel it's an interesting book so yeah i finished reading it and i'll say it's a great read so these are the two books that i have read in the month of september make sure to check it out if you're interested i'll put the links to um amazon i'll put the amazon links for both of this book in the description box below Whew. by the way i forgot to show you my nails look at my nails look at my nails my nails are so cute they're so cute anyway so we have come to the end of, th of this video i'm so exhausted i just want to eat now thank you so much for watching i hope you liked this video if you did don't forget to leave a comment down below let me know what you think till next time guys bye bye